Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your machine learning model in Collab using Flask. Now, when we talk about Collab, it's a good environment for running your data science or machine learning job. Uh, it has GPUs and TPUs, which you can leverage apart from the typical CPUs. You can run your Python code, you can do numerous things. But when it comes to running a web application, uh, that's not really straightforward in Collab. The reason is a web application like Flask, it's a continuous running um, application. And when you click on the run icon over here, it's going to continuously keep on running, right? So that if, uh, once you run it, you cannot go to the uh, next uh, cell and execute it, right? Until you stop the previous cell. That is one thing. The second thing is basically Collab allocates you virtual environments and the IP addresses are pretty local to it. It is not exposed outside where you can go and run a curl command or a postman application outside and test it out or rather in other browser. Now, sometimes what you may want to do is you have a machine learning model. You don't have a GPU in your local system and you want to just see like how it performs on a GPU in Collab before taking it and deploying it at a cloud environment. So most of the time you need it for testing purpose. Now Flask is not the right application in Collab because uh, Flask needs to be run continuously and Collab uh, virtual environments have a timeline by which, it's, by which it will destroy it automatically. But it's a good environment for testing your Flask app. I'm going to show two ways. The first way is how you can just use Collab, run your Flask application in background and test it. The second thing is how you can expose your Flask application to the outer world and you can, you can just uh, call it from a Postman application or as a normal URL and test it. And again, this only for testing. Uh, as I said, there is a time limit uh, by which Collab is going to uh, bring down the VMs for you. So just use it for testing. It's a nice hack in Collab that you can use it for your other UI testing as well. So let me get started. So what I'm doing is I am uh, mounting my uh, Collab drive. Uh, I'm mounting my drive, which has my models. Like uh, this is the TensorFlow sentiment analysis model I developed uh, in my uh, previous videos. Uh, you can click the link on the top. Rather, it's a playlist. The If you click the link on the top, you'll get a playlist, which has uh, the, the sent TensorFlow sentiment analysis model deployment, as well as how to uh, convert that into a Flask application. I have covered Flask in very detailed over there. And there, if you want to learn only Flask, that is the best uh, that is the best playlist you have uh, that I have created that you can click the link on the top and watch it. But here I'm just going to show you how to deploy it, right? I mounted my drive, which has the models. So if I do an LS over here, you can uh, basically see I'm going to use the sentiment analysis uh, HD5 file and that also comes with the to vocabulary tokens because when you use sentiment analysis, you will have a text which you get needs to which which needs to be converted into a numerical format. And that's where this encoder comes into play. So for the very first thing, I'm going to check the IP address of this particular VM. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm importing socket and then I'm just printing the uh, socket host by name and you will get an IP address over here. So this is the IP address of the VM. Uh, this is just to test it because I need an IP address to test it. I cannot say local host colon. I need an IP address. That's what I need this for. And next, what I'm doing is I am uh, taking my uh, TensorFlow model that I have developed and I'm creating a Flask application out of it. It's, it's just a typical Flask application you create. I have my model, I have my encoder. What I'm doing is I am kind of creating a predict function and then I am calling the loading the model and loading the encoder and then I'm returning the predictions, right? The, the only difference that I have is apart from the regular one, I am importing a package called threading, right? The reason I need threading is basically when you start a, uh, when you start a Flask application, it's going to run forever. Unless you run it in a background in a Linux environment, you can just do a no hop or you can put an ampersand simple to run it in a background. But in this case, like I cannot run it in a background, right? I'm, I'm just running this Flask application and that's why I need threading. So what I'm doing, be taking this threading app and then I am creating a new thread and then starting this particular application and I'm starting it with port 6000. So what is going to happen? It's going to automatically start it as a background process rather than a foreground process. So as soon as I run it, the cell is going to get completed and come out. If you don't use it and you just use a typical app dot run, you may it will keep continuously running, right? So I have two callback URLs. One is the app route slash, 
the that just returns like okay i am alive it just um, uh, when i hit the root url it just going to tell okay i am up and running right i am alive and if i class if i call the class sc classifier it uh, and pass a text right uh, it will just return the sentiment of the text whether it's a positive or negative sentiment so that's what it is as i said uh, you uh, can click the link on the top and watch the flask application if you want to learn about flask this is just to show how to deploy it in a um, collab environment so let me run this cell and you can see basically it's going to take it and run it in the background the cell will come out as soon as it is uh, run uh, like if you see over here okay i see the uh, it has come out it's not continuously running but if you don't use this threading dot thread it's going to run in a foreground and continuously keep on running and you can see basically the model and vocabulary is loaded i am just printing it on top and then it is running in this particular uh, 00:6000 port right now 000 is just an uh, ip address that i've given but you have to use the actual ip address that we got that is 172.280.2 let us i am just quickly importing a request package i'm just connecting to the url and i'm just getting the response back i am passing yeah i am alive if i call the url so let me see if it is working so if you see this is working over here now the advantage is if i want to run my model in gpu if my cpu takes a lot of time i want to test on gpu this is a good way to test it and preferably for more who do not have local gpu environment you need to rely on cloud once you are comfortable maybe you can go to cloud and deploy it right now next what i am doing is i am calling the sc classifier method where i am passing a input text and it will return me like whether it's a positive sentiment or negative sentiment so i am calling the second method in this case and in this case the text i am passing is still working my way through uh, definitely change your view of investment and this looks like a positive invest sentiment and you have got a response back as positive and similarly like i am passing another method another uh, another uh, text over here i thought this will be good one but i was wrong so maybe this is a slightly negative sentiment and so what has happened is like i think there is some uh, tunneling issue so let me okay i forgot to change the port uh, from 5000 to 6000 and let me change it and let me run it so now you can see basically uh, it's telling it's a negative sentiment over here right so uh, so basically uh, i i am able to quickly stand up a flask application i am able to test it i am able to run it but the challenge over with this method is i have to be on that particular uh, collab notebook to run it i cannot test it outside of my collab environment so i need a public url to do that right so how can i get my public url that you can also use it to deploy your uh, flask application and test it from mobile phone if you are creating an android application or something like that right so i need a public ip address so let me quickly run the process this process so if you see if i do and process eaf grep python you can see this particular thing is running in this ip address right this is the 9000 is the notebook ip address now let me go and talk about the second method where i can expose this as a public ip address so i can test from anywhere another collab notebook or postman or mobile phone anything where i want so i'm again uh, i am just printing the flask version it's 1.1.2 uh, i already imported flask but i am doing it again uh, i am installing flask and grok right this is a package that will help us do this uh, create them by be a public ip address for this so what ngrok does is ngrok exposes your local servers that is beyond the firewall to public internet over a secure tunnel and let's see how it works so everything is same over here uh, compared to the previous one the only thing is i am importing a new package called flask ngrok and i am importing run with ngrok and when i am creating this app over here what i am doing is i am telling run with ngrok i am calling this particular thing i am passing the app over here right that's the that's the only additional step i am doing i have removed the threading now even if you see the way i am calling it over here is basically i am just telling um, okay just call the main method app dot run there is no difference at all right now uh, now i have the same two method when i call slash to tell i am alive and when i call slash sc classifier it will tell me whether it's a positive sentiment or negative sentiment let me run this and let me uh, start it so now if you uh, see over here uh, this, this process is not going to complete it's going to keep on running so so now now basically you can see this has uh, started the output right you can see the models and vocabulary is loaded which is nothing but uh, i am printing on the top 
and then what it is doing is it is telling it's running on localhost 5000 uh, in this case i did not give any port so it's going to run in the default port 5000 and this is what it is it's telling like uh, running the ngrok on uh, basically this is the address that is a public address so what it is doing is it is it is creating you and it is allowing you to access your local application over the public internet uh, with a secure tunnel and this is the IP address I can use from uh, my postman app in my local system or from any of the servers I can do a curl I can do uh, even call from mobile app as an uh, deployed API and then I can get the response back so now this is up and running uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to a different uh, different uh, notebook uh, and then I'm going to run this and see if I get the proper or uh, proper uh, response uh, I'm I'm in a new window now. What I'm doing is um, I am calling the same IP address, public IP address that is there, and I'm just calling the root method and uh, seeing like what is the status. I just want to make sure uh, my Flask application is up and running. Uh, so it's going to hit, and now you can see like I am alive. So basically, it's available as an public IP address now. And then what I'm doing is I'm calling the SC classifier method and I'm passing a text over here and then seeing whether it's returning an uh, positive or negative sentiment. So uh, this is running and you can see uh, the prediction it's a negative sentiment. So as I said, it's a good way of testing your model and more specifically if you want to uh, test it on a, a GPU and you don't have a GPU. Uh, it's, it's not really to deploy your model. You may want to take it and deploy it in your local environment or even in a cloud environment. Uh, but if you want to quickly test, this is a good hack in uh, Collab. Thank you very much.